So, moving on to WrestleMania 29 in beautiful East Rutherford, New Jersey. <laughs> the Undertaker versus CM Punk. The real main event, the biggest draw and widely considered best match uh, in modern read PG, w, uh, PG WrestleMania era. history. The Undertaker versus CM Punk almost didn't happen because The Undertaker was not medically cleared to perform at WrestleMania until March. Did he Did he also have a deadly staphylococcus infection? He did not. Okay. He's just old. Okay. But with uh, only six weeks away to, uh, to build a match at Mania, they, the uh, industry turned to the only man who could get that the enough heat to make the match interesting, CM Punk. CM Punk would then turn to doing things that heels hadn't done since the 1980s, like steal somebody's remains, dump those remains oh, that... on somebody, and then beat them oh, up yeah. with it. No, 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 this was not too long after Paul Bearer had actually had died in real life, yes. right? Yes. And so The Undertaker had uh, claimed to have put Bear's ashes in the urn, and then CM Punk stole the urn, used it as a plaything, wow. um, mocked his entrance, had Paul Heyman dress up as Paul Bearer. Heel the... maneuver! <laughs> uh, I guess see, see, Jericho's, Jericho's antics from the year before kind of rubbed off on him. I yeah. Guess. He uh, dumped the uh, ashes on Undertaker and then beat him <laughs> up with the God. urn. Wow. Oh, and then he dumped yes. some, some of the remaining ashes on himself and licked them. It was wow. pretty great. Um, you'll Again, notice... Big boss man level healed him. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Punk is just wearing a gray hoodie that's plain. So, it makes him so look I, like so, he's wearing a dress. So, so, straight, so if you're straight edge, you can still consume he cremated human remains. Yes. Okay. There's no drugs Unless or it's... alcohol in them. Unless it's like the ashes of Keith Richards. Yes, those would just be pure. Like, I'm not even sure if he'd have ashes. Wouldn't he just burn? That's probably true, yeah. Anyways. What, what? You know, the various necromancies holding his carcass together would dissipate. <laughs> and... yeah. that, 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 was, that was not not a very nice thing to say about Keith Richards. And the Undertaker knows him. I'm sorry. Yeah, speaking of which, speaking of dark rituals... <laughs> Here comes the ten-minute dark ritual known as The Undertaker Walking to the Ring. Undertaker, as always, knows how to make an entrance. Oh, yeah. Tons of function. Good lord. Like, I cannot stress enough how great The Undertaker's entrance at WrestleMania 30 was. Did you see it? I did not. He had 21... Let's, let's not talk about that now. We'll just get upset. Let's let's enjoy this this Undertaker versus CM Punk. He had 21 coffins. It was really cool. No, 20. Oh, that's cool. And all of them, they had names of every everybody he put away. Cool. Including Giant Gonzalez, which he really didn't put away. <laughs> Did he have, like, a jumbo coffin for Giant Gonzalez? You know, I don't know. I don't think so. Or maybe, or did he just, maybe he just, like, broke his, broke his limbs and to cram him in. Yeah, I think that's far more likely. I just ima I imagine, like, the Undertaker, like, in the basement of the mortuary with a hacksaw. <laughs> Get in there, damn you. <laughs> Okay. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this Undertaker look. The, with, like, the big wizard cowl and... Cloth spikes. I, I, like the, I like the more classic dead man where he's just wearing, like... Where he looks where he looks like he's, like, some, like, you know, like, some old, act, like an old Wild West Undertaker or something with a big hat. Yeah. That, that was always suit. my favorite. That's my favorite. Um, I didn't like Biker Taker that much, but going back... And the long, scraggly hair. Yeah. Going back and watching some of the Biker Taker stuff, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as I remember it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Somewhere between the pinstripe suit that was his debut and uh, this is just the classic, like, torn black uh, top with the purple trim... And yeah, the round hat. That was the best. I just remember when I was just remember when I was a kid. What you know? I mean, I was a, I was a huge Undertaker when I was a kid, and just like, just his entrance was so. I mean, 
the guys had theatrics and stuff, but it was so different from what anyone else was doing at the time. Yeah. Well, we can I'll... watch even more of it in uh, Total Lies if we watched it on the WWE Network, the um, Monday Night Wars. Nick, did you? Okay. No, 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 it's not paused. This is, I remember okay. what I was doing. I was reading the apron leg drop instruction okay. because it's teaching me what to do. <laughs> So now we are the the Undertaker, of course. Yes, beating up CM Punk, who has his uh, cool inverse Undertaker trunks on. Oh, is that an intentional like taunt? Yeah. And so like we we will see it later in the match, but CM Punk had a heavy amount of wrestling psychology. Uh, he, he will he does a couple of the different old school Undertaker moves. That hmm. Taker can't really do anymore. What, like the the ri rope walking thing? The or? rope walking. Um, if you watch the actual match, he does the throat slash a bunch, and I think he tries to set him up for a tombstone, but it does not work. Obviously, because CM Punk is like six inches shorter than Undertaker. <laughs> now, <clears throat> this uh, this WrestleMania, this it happened in uh, the MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Co uh, Tenants of over 80,000. Yeah. And uh, the tagline was, uh, WrestleMania is coming home. Again. Because it... W Again? No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because I guess because it was in the general New York area, which... That's totally yeah. Madison Square Garden. East Rutherford, New Jersey, Madison Square Garden, basically the same thing. <laughs> I think of... Um... What is it called? The, um... God, what, what... Shoot! The New Age Outlaws. When they did their comeback recently, they they did one of their promos, and they were talking about uh, main eventing mania and selling out the garden. Like, which, they did neither of those things. <laughs> and selling out Madison Square Garden in the WWE is not even that impressive. Because pretty much anybody mildly famous can sell out the Madison Square Garden. I don't think it's that big of a place, is it? I don't. Th I don't think so. I mean, it's not. It's not like on the level of like eighty thousand people or whatever. Right. Because oh, it's gotta fit New York. New York is a very t tight place now. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling. Um, I think I might blame the controls at some point, but the Undertaker plays very differently from any other character. Really? How so? Uh, he has the uh, I <laughs> I would use the word athleticism, but like that makes no sense. Uh, he okay, so his running attack is like a weird dive thing that smaller, faster characters like Daniel Bryan, CM Punk. Oh, and also Nick, I I just checked it up. Apparently, its capacity when it's set up for wrestling is only a eight, like eighteen and a half thousand. Yeah, that's so not that much. Okay, yeah, so here's CM Punk doing the old school wrist lock. The ring walk. Yeah. Okay. There we go. If they were setting up for some sort of gimmick where he... <coughs> like, he defeats the Undertaker, but then the Undertaker hat possesses him. <laughs> I would have loved that. <laughs> and then, like, and then, you know, since Mark Calloway was, like, in his, like... Well, like in his like late forties, by this was made, I think. Yeah. So you know he's getting pretty old. Then then CM Punk just is the Undertaker. He becomes the next on. Undertaker. And, and, and then and they just and the get and the gimmick is that it, like it's the same guy. It's just the soul transferred to him through the hat. <laughs> and Paul Heyman is the new Paul Bearer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so like technically, technically the streak didn't end. It's just even, even though on. CM Punk beats him, but the streak didn't end because CM Punk is now the Undertaker. So. <laughs> that would be so great. Oh shit, I'm, I think I'm gonna write a fanfic like that. <laughs> what? Uh, why doesn't Why doesn't WWE booking ever call me? I don't know. So I, I ask you. What? I Ooh. I'm not even joking. I seriously think if you called um, Vince McMahon today and told him that idea, he'd be like, God damn it. Why can't I go back and do that? I'm working on that impression. <laughs> I want it to be really good. Just remember, 
Try to differentiate it from your Sergeant Slaughter impression, which is uh, I've not yet managed. <laughs> Okay, so you hit two tombstone pile drivers on CM Punk. Yeah, and that's not even the fin that is even yeah, that's... all the objectives. But yeah, uh, Undertaker like dives and does like kind of air moves, but he doesn't have the speed to make those work. Right. Yeah, he's a big lumbering, yeah. unstoppable monstrosity. But uh, I don't know. He plays very different from any other characters. And uh, it's pretty cool to play the defeat and defend the streak mode. And by cool, I mean painful. Well, it's it set up like the maximum... It's like the highest difficulty AI in the game is if you're fighting The Undertaker in that, right? Yeah, and it also cheats because uh, you can't use any of your comeback abilities. Because well, the dark energies of The Undertaker would, would obviously negate. prevent that. Yeah. And then um, there's me sitting off the two stuff. Oh! Yeah. And then, uh. Yeah, he, like, counters, like, 90% of your moves. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what the match was, but I think, uh, I remember watching on one of these old school, uh, wrestling things where they were talking about um, The Undertaker and how somebody gave him a low blow and like it clearly wasn't oh. scripted because after that like The Undertaker kept going after the guy <laughs> <laughs> but um, like like that's like how do you what, what, what would you do because if your gimmick is no selling because you're a zombie yeah but somebody also kicks you in the crotch which to everybody is uh you know the move that you just you were supposed to be stunned from what do you do you know all right springboard close line i gotta give him another tombstone which i think is just the coolest Actually, I thought it was the coolest until I saw the the tag team spike pile driver. Tag team spike pile driver. That's where you, somebody sets him up in the corner for a pile driver, and somebody jumps off the the oh, okay. turnbuckle, grabs their feet while they're going down, and so it kind of like drives them into the mat. Okay. And there we go. The All streak right. is alive. 21 and 0. Yay. Nobody has the sign that says, I love WWE. <laughs> Not even at WrestleMania. It is a weirdly generic thing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I mean, this goes for pretty much every match in here. Like, the actual match was much better. But this was uh, actually really cool. The build was very fast and very hot. And, uh, yeah. CM Punk versus The Undertaker.